Welcome to the Laravel Collections Guide. In this series, we take a look at each of the available methods in the Laravel Collection class and dive deep through examples in explaining what it does. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Map to Dictionary and Map to Groups. These two methods are very similar, but they do have a slight difference that I will show you today. Let's take a look at our first example. Imagine that you had some products and these products had some prices, right? Some prices over time. If we were to represent that as a collection, it would maybe look something like this. We'll say collection, collect, and then we'll have an array. And inside this array, we'll have several different arrays. And the first thing we'll have is a product name. And we'll say that our first product are apples. And we'll say that the first recorded price for apples is 59 cents. Then we'll have a second price for apples, which we'll call 69. And then maybe we'll have another product, bananas. And the first recorded price for that we'll say is 54. And then we'll have another price for that of 94. So if I needed to modify this current collection so that I would have apples as a key and then have my two prices nested and then have another entry for bananas and then again have my two prices nested, then what I need to use is map to dictionary. So we'll say return collection map to dictionary map to dictionary accepts a callback so we'll say function item and inside our callback I'll return a new array and we'll have item product which will represent apples and then it will represent bananas and we'll match that up to item price and let's take a look at the results so there we go so apples has become the key and we have 59 cents and 69 cents and then we have bananas and we have 54 cents and 94 cents. So that's a useful use for map to dictionary. Now let's switch over and talk about map to groups. So if I was to actually switch map to dictionary and simply call map to groups instead, let's check out the difference. Can you spot the difference? What's going on here is that we are actually returning a collection that has collections inside. Map to dictionary, which returns an array. Let me show you that one more time. Here is map to dictionary. We have a collection and then we have the key apples, which is an array. And then we have the key bananas, which is another array. Now, if I change that back to map to groups and let's take a look at the new results. We have a collection that has apples as a key, but then we have a collection that has our two items. And then further, we have bananas with another collection and the two items. So how is that more useful than map to dictionary? Well, let me show you. What if I wanted to find the highest price for each of these items? In that case, I can chain another method to this. We'll call map and map against accepts a callback and we'll say item. And in here, I'm actually gonna return item and then we can call the max method on it and max will find the highest value. If you have some questions on max, we actually have another video on that. Check that out. But here it is. Whoops, forgot the semicolon. Let's try one more time. And there we go. So we have apples and we see that the highest price apple ever was was 69 cents. And then we have banana. We see that 94 was the highest ever. So in contrast, I'm gonna switch this back to map to dictionary without changing anything. And if we run that, we blow up because remember at this point, item is an array, is not a collection. So it doesn't have all of the added benefits of having that. Now, the last thing I want to touch up on is that map to dictionary and map to groups both return a new collection. So let me show you what I mean by that really quick. I'm going to change this back to map to groups so that we are not in error state. And there we are. And instead of returning there, I'm going to make a new return statement and I'm going to return collection. Collection is the variable that we have been using. And we're back to our original collection. See, even though we did the map to groups and we did the second map to call the max method on it, we're back to our original collection. If you needed to save the results of map to groups or map to dictionary, you need to save that to a new variable. We'll say new collection equals. And then instead of returning collection, we're going to return this new variable, new collection. And let's check out the results. And there you go. We are back to what we had before. So keep that in mind whenever you're using map to dictionary or map to groups.